find the intervals in which the following functions are strictly increasing or decreasing given function let us consider f of x is equal to minus 2x power 3 minus 9x square minus 12x plus 1 and to find the intervals in which function is decreasing or increasing so we should consider f dash of x is equal to 0 whereby the behavior of the graph changes at this point at the point where f dash of x is equal to 0 so let's differentiate it f dash of x is equal to so minus 6x square minus 18x minus 12 or you can take out 6 minus 6 common so we had x square plus 3x plus 2 or we can factorize this and we can write it as negative 6 times of and x square plus 3x plus 2 we can write x plus 1 into x plus 2 right so we got f dash of x is equal to minus 6 times of x plus 1 into x plus 2 so let f dash of x is equal to 0 to find the intervals in which it is decreasing or increasing so that we have minus 6 times of x plus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to 0 so which implies x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 so that is x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 2 so these two points will divide the number line let's consider these two numbers on the number line so minus infinity to plus infinity the number line real line so minus 2 and minus 1 will divide the entire real real number line into three parts three regions we can say it's dividing into three regions the first one minus infinity to minus 2 and second one minus 2 to minus 1 and the third region minus 1 to infinity okay and by by using our wavy curve method so we can just conclude that since it is f dash of x is negative 6 times so you take the curve from the negative side because above 1 above negative 1 it is always negative because of its negative sign so this is minus and again it takes change in the sign because of its uh, power, odd, power, odd powers again it's uh, positive to again it changes to negative so wavy curve method is explained and given in the description box link so please go through the video so to get good idea good idea about it and so we can confirm confirm that in negative 2 to negative 1 it is increasing and in the minus infinity to minus 2 and minus 1 to infinity it is decreasing so now let us find it generally so let's take any one particular value after minus 1 or minus infinity to minus 2 let us take any value say let me take minus 4 substitute it so f dash of negative 4 is equal to minus 6 times of minus 4 plus 1 into minus 4 plus 2 so that is minus 6 into minus 3 into again this is negative 2 negative into negative positive positive into negative is negative so it is negative which means that your f dash of x is negative in the region minus infinity to minus 2 to it is decreasing and in the interval minus 2 to minus 1 so let me take one particular value so minus 1 to minus 2 let me take minus 3 by 2 so f dash of negative 3 by 2 so which equals to minus 6 times of negative 3 by 2 or 1 minus 3 by 2 I can write and 2 minus 3 by 2 so which equals to uh, negative 6 of minus 6 into 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 by 2 and again 2 to the 4 minus 3 plus 1 by 2 so minus into minus positive so it is positive so f dash of x is f dash of x is positive in the interval minus 2 to minus 1 and in the interval minus infinity to infinity so let us consider one value take 0 so f dash of 0 is equal to minus 6 times of 0 plus 1 and again 0 plus 2 so this is clearly it's negative so that is f dash of x is negative in the interval minus 1 to infinity so we can just conclude from here so the given curve f is 
increasing f is increasing in the interval or strictly increasing in the interval minus 2 to minus 1 means minus 2 less than x less than minus 1 and f is decreasing f is decreasing in the interval in the interval so you can consider minus infinity to minus 2 union and again minus 1 to infinity in these two intervals we can just consider that the function is decreasing okay thank you